Hi, this is Bernard Miller here. Uh, this tutorial is going to cover some Photoshop plugins that I find extremely useful and I use quite a bit in my image processing. I'll show you how they work, describe them, and uh, give you pointers to where you can go find them on the web and download them if you want. So, the first one, if you look at this picture here, you can see this gradient that's, that's here. Hopefully that's coming across in the video. Um, now, if you use PixInsight, um, it's possible that ABE or DBE would, would take care of this, but for whatever reason, if you end up with some sort of gradient like this in Photoshop, I find this plugin called Gradient Exterminator to be very useful. And the way I use it is I grab the lasso tool, and for galaxies, I lasso the galaxies because I don't want the exterminator to work on the galaxies themselves. So I grab this, I then do control, or I'm sorry, shift F6 and feather it about 100 pixels or whatever, I mean depending upon your picture you'll, you'll find a radius. You want to feather it a little bit and click OK. Then I come up to select inverse. So I'm selecting everything except these two galaxies. I then do control H as in Henry just to get rid of the marching ants and then you'll find these plugins under filter so filter RC Astro gradient exterminator and I usually find that medium and medium work really well you can play with some of these other ones but I find that uh, this works usually pretty well I click OK and you will see Hopefully, if you take a look at this, you can see that it does a better job of, of getting rid of the gradients. Now there's another problem that I use another plugin for, for, and you can see in the background and even in the galaxy here, if I zoom in a bit, it's got this green tint or cast to it, so hue, it just kind of permeates everywhere. So what I do is come over to filter deep sky colors and HLVG also known as Oscar La Vista Green I select a strong setting here and then just click OK and hopefully you can see it just boom green's gone um, works rather well to just get rid of that green cast so the final one that I use is called Star Shrink, and if you look at some of these larger stars, they're just a little bit bloated, at least for my taste. So what I do is I click and hold here, drag this down, hover over this icon and let go, and it creates a new uh, layer. I then come up to Filter, RC Astro, Star Shrink. And if you, yeah, here's a nice big star here. And if you play with this radius, you can see that as you get bigger, it doesn't do anything at all. And then and if you get smaller, it doesn't do anything at all. So I find for most of the stars that really need shrinking, somewhere around 20, 20 to 25 usually works pretty good. The strength, again, you can see, you can drag it all the way over here and it's sharp and it, it, it lowers it so much it actually starts to get a little uh, dark halo or you can take it down here and do next to nothing but again I find a strength somewhere five or six usually works pretty well and then the sharpness you can see you can get very sharp or very fuzzy so I usually find a sharpness of one works pretty well you can play and figure it out but you can play with these sliders until you get what you think is a good uh, good result click OK and then you're gonna see some of these stars boom just shrink now when I look at this it's a little bit too much I think uh, I think I took those down more than I wanted to so that's why I created a layer you can just back off a bit with the slider so we'll come down to 50 and blink this and I think that's you know for me that's pretty good it tightens them up without you know shrinking them a little too much in my opinion so once you have what you want you 
go to layer, flatten image, and you've tightened up your stars. So those are the plugins that I use most often. I find them very useful. I think you will too. This is where you can find information and download uh, the plugins. They cost a little bit of money. Some of them do. I think Oslo Vista Green um, asks for a donation. So that's, I, I believe that's the way it works. And so it's up to you how much you want to uh, donate. Uh, Star Shrink and Gradient Exterminator, I believe there's a cost to those, but again, I find them very useful and worth, worth the money. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, installing these is fairly easy. There's an example here um, for installing like HLVG. When you download, you get a zip file, and inside the zip file is this HLVG.abf. And you just load that in your plugins folder in your... Photoshop installation and it's usually in um, you know something like program files and then Adobe then Photoshop whatever version you have and then there'll be a plugins directory and you just drop that in there and when you do when you go to uh, filter you'll see deep sky colors here's HLVG and I believe Star Shrink and Oslo Vista Green are something very similar so I hope you found this tutorial useful. I find these plugins to be very helpful and I would uh, I would advise adding them to your toolbox. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.